Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Vivian. I am the business software coach. If you're first time here, please subscribe to my channels and hit the notification bell. Every week, I will record a weekly inventory video like this to share with you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channels and hit the notification bell. Okay, let's start our topic for today. Understand production inventory. I started in the semiconductor industry many years ago as a software consultant for a small company. We make memory chips for computer companies like IBM. Memory chips are generic products with no customized features. So, our production plan was based on the forecast of expected demand rather than actual order. So, we use what is commonly called a push strategy. We started a specific amount of inventory each week and push it through the factory, solving problems along the way. One week, we were having maintenance problem with a particular machine. Each morning, at the end of the shift, there were reports to the managers that more and more work in the process was stacking up at the machine. After several days of reporting this problem, run out of table space to store the work at that station. There simply was no more room to stack up the material. And he told the factory floor to go to the Walmart and buy another table. Make sure it was clean and put it in the factory. That way, they could store even more material in front of the problem machine. I'm quite ashamed to say that at the time, this seems like a pretty good solution. Back then, we really had no idea how to manage inventory. It seems that many times, we make our production schedule simply by wishing and hoping and having a great deal of luck. We work overtime every weekend, just trying to keep up we were driven by the fear of idle machines anywhere in the factory. Inventory were kept high regardless of cost because we did not want expensive machines to sit idle. Pushing a large inventory into the system guaranteed the machines would keep running. Now today, we know better even when making products to a forecast we know to control our inventory with a pool approach to production. A pool approach is driven by actual orders from the customers. Within the factory, a pool approach produces only what is needed by the downstream machines. This way, inventory does not stack up while you are solving equipment and process problems. If a machine breaks, for example, you stop sending material from the other workstations. The hub of a pool system is the concept of just-in-time, which states that a batch of the material moves from one station to the next station just as it is needed, just when the workstation is ready to process that batch. This keeps inventory level lower and more manageable. One very important aspect of the just-in-time system is bottleneck management. The first step is to determine which machines in the factory have the lowest throughput or utilization. Once you know where these bottlenecks are, you can manage your inventory in front of the bottleneck machine at the bottleneck and after the bottlenecks to ensure a smooth flow of materials throughout the factory. There are a lot of analytical tools to produce inventory reports for factory management, and they are very variable to production supervisors and managers. But 
One very good way is to understand how inventory is managed in your company is to go to the factory floor and see for yourself. Based on the material flow, you can tell if you are using a push or a pull approach. That's all for my sharing in this video. As always, if you learn something new in my video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channels and turn on the notifications bell. My name is Vivian, I am a business software coach and I see you in my next video.